Any non Muslims here? Yes, but they're most welcome. My name is Shahan Lopez Singh, and uh, uh, my mom is a uh, Christian. My dad is a Sikhism. And uh, I want to ask a question that uh, if I want to become Muslim, is it compulsory to change my name? And uh, in my, uh, without the permission of my mom and dad, that uh, is it okay if I become Muslim because I have a tattoo? And is it haram? Like, uh, Brother has a question that his parents are Christian and he wants to accept Islam. Is it compulsory that to accept Islam he has to change his name is the, is the first question. Question number two that should he inform, is it compulsory to inform the parents? And question number three, he has a tattoo. Whether as far as Islam is concerned regarding changing your name, if your name involves a certain shirk, what's your name brother? Sean Lopez Singh. Sean Lopez Singh. I don't know which language it is, but if your name does not involve shirk, for example, if your name involves certain names of certain gods, then you cannot. Then you cannot keep that name. But if your name does not involve any shirk, any association with God, or any name of any other God, then you need not change your name. Changing the name is not compulsory. Point number one. Question number two. That should you inform your parents? Informing is better but not compulsory. If you feel that informing your parents will cause problem in your life, maybe your life will be in danger, or maybe your mother would be very offended or something. If you feel that, and if you disclose later on, there is no problem. But as early as possible, if you disclose, that will help you to get your mother also on the straight path. Because if you do not disclose... No, it's my dad. It's my dad, actually. It's your dad. No problem. If it's your dad or your mother, whatever it is, if you feel you can inform your mother, don't inform your dad, it's not compulsory. But it's preferable so that you will be instrumental in getting your parents to Islam. So number one, changing your name is not compulsory if it doesn't involve shirk. Point number two, informing a parent is not compulsory, but better so that you can get them to Islam. But if you feel that now you want to not disclose it, maybe later on you disclose it, there's no problem. Point number three, you have a tattoo. If you have a tattoo, if the tattoo can be removed, and if the tattoo has something which is again talking about shirk. If it is a normal tattoo mentioning your name, there's no problem. If it involves certain shirk, mean the photograph of a god, if it can be removed with certain techniques, remove it. If it cannot be removed, no problem. It's not for us. So these three things, hope you are convinced. Yes, sir. So do you want to accept Islam? Yes, sir. <coughs> do you believe there is one God? Yes, sir. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? It's wrong. Do you believe Jesus is not God? It's not God. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? He is a messenger of God. Do you believe? Uh, is there anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No, sir. Is there any pressure on you? No, sir. Is there any economic pressure? With my will. If your own free will. Is someone bribing you to accept Islam? No, no, no. You got a free will. Yes. MashaAllah. So I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And. And. Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is, is the messenger, the messenger and servant of God. And servant of God. MashaAllah, we become Muslim and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give you the best in this world and akhirah. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you very shortly even inform to your parents and it's your duty to see to it that you love your parents more and you're kind to them, follow whatever they say, except if they tell you to do something against Quran and Sunnah. As long as your father and mother do not tell you to do anything in the Quran, my request to you is follow them very, very strictly. Suppose they told you to wear maybe yellow color t-shirt. You don't like yellow color t-shirt. Now that you're a Muslim, wearing yellow is not wrong, so wear yellow color. Try and satisfy them as much as possible. Only do not obey them those things which is prohibited in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. All the other things, be more kind to them. Love them more. And inshallah you may be instrumental in getting them to Islam also. Jazakallah shukran.